Good morning and welcome to this edition of the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show. We have a lot to do this morning. If you haven't noticed already, the weather has changed. It's warm outside. That means school is out. But there's a big question facing families with children who normally get their lunch at school where do they go? What do they do and how can you help? We're going to talk about that a little bit later in the program. Also going to introduce you to this week's The Waiting Child, a young man by the name of David. And what a time we had at Kennywood Park. But we begin with a celebration. Now, if you look around the community, you will not find many organizations, institutions that have been around for 90 years. But that is the case with the Pittsburgh chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. Full disclosure, I am a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority, but we're going to talk about this. 90th celebration. Three individuals, three perspectives. Monica Lamar is the president of the Pittsburgh chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. Dottie DeBeau, Jill Wesley, Williams are two very active members in that chapter. Welcome to you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So when I talk about 90 years, I mean, that's, uh, that's kind of overwhelming when you think about mm. something that has survived and sustained 90 years. Yes, I would agree. Since 1927, we were chartered and Center Avenue YMCA, um, a Norma Boyd, one of our international members, came to help us organize and to be able to be service to the community and also cultural leaders. And so we have um, been consistent with that since 1927. So 1927. Exciting. And you yeah. say the Center Avenue Y. So that's the old Francis Street Y. That is Perfect. Correct. That's not the Thelma Levin Y. That's, that's the correct. old Y, which actually is still there and, that is and still functions. Yeah. So I probably am somewhat remiss because we assume that everyone knows what Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority is, but there may be some of our viewers who don't. So whoever wants to jump in and take that, we should probably just give a background perspective. Sure, so um, Alpha Kappa Alpha was started in 1908 at Howard University where we were in initiated by 20 women. It started with 16 but it ended with 20 women that came together to be able to to fight for women and children. Um, so that's what the organization is based upon and mm -hmm. so we continue that legacy of service to this day. So we're a sorority and we have undergraduate chapters and we have graduate chapter. Women that have graduated from college and continue to serve the community and so today we represent the graduate chapter in this area for the city of Pittsburgh. And Dottie that's significant because so often we when you talk to people and you say my sorority and they say didn't that end with college um, but certainly within the african-american community this is a lifetime commitment to service in this case it is a lifetime commitment but that's so true you say well what college did you go to when you say your sorority that's mm -hmm. the first thing they asked you and they think it does end with when you graduation mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. But, uh, Gio, I want you to jump in on this now. I mean, when we look at the history, especially of the chapter in this city, um, we have a long, long history, 90 years, obviously, Absolutely. of serving the community. Yes. Uh, yes, and I'm proud to be a member of Alpha Alpha Omega chapter here in Pittsburgh. And we do lots of service projects. Um, probably more than 25 to 30 every year mm -hmm. from uh, working with the uh, produce to people, which we just finished this last Saturday. Okay, and that's uh, the food bank, and I know we have a picture of that, and you know, that's one of my favorite events. I'm, I'm gonna let you continue yeah. on, but that is a, a perfect example, though, of we don't serve our community, we serve the entire community. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. uh, women's shelters, we do a lot of seasonal wraps and working with them. Uh, a lot of children's programs, mm -hmm. uh, just a real variety of different type of programs. American Heart Association, um, they're a good partner with us. Mm -hmm. uh, we do a lot of walks, the NAMI walk, um, Alzheimer's walk. Uh, anybody else can help That's me? That's okay. We don't today, have to name them yeah, all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, today but, is the longest day mm -hmm. where we're going to walk it for all times. Okay, and let me just go back because our viewers are going to be seeing this on Saturday and Sunday. We actually taped this on Wednesday, so Wednesday was the longest day. Yes. Um, so, Monica, let me bring this back to you then sure. full circle because um, the organization went to city council 
That's correct. Talk to me a little bit about that. So that was exciting. We um, were recognized in April because um, that's the, the actual month of our founding of our, of our organization here. Mm -hmm. And City Council gave us a proclamation for 90 years of service. And then on April 21st, 2017, that was Alpha Alpha Omega Day in the city of Pittsburgh, proclaimed by the city of um, City Council. So we were excited about that. Now, wait a minute. I didn't see pink and green flags all over the city of Pittsburgh. We're going to have to get on <laughs> Mayor Bill Peduto about about that. I would agree. If it's going to be our day. <laughs> right. All right, Gio, I know you're actively involved in 90th anniversary events. We're going to talk about all that in just a minute when the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show continues, so don't go away. And don't forget, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, we're all there, and you can always catch the show on kdka.com. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Don't go away.